This is the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Our 11-year-old Lennox had his high school interview yesterday. Um, hey, teacher, kids alone. So it was, you know, it's one of those moments. I love these interviews because as I was walking in, there was tables everywhere and there's a lot of interviews going on, Kate. And, and the best thing, it's one of those moments where the, the, the teachers have to look at the parents and go, uh, uh, I'll hold you up there. I'm not asking you the question. I'm asking your child oh, the question. There's yeah. a lot of that People's going on. It's, a, it's, a, it's an exercise in self-control, isn't it? You yeah. didn't wear your Adidas three-stripe, though, did yeah, you? Yeah, I did, yeah, okay. the whole okay. tracksuit. And I had a bum bag on and a Nordica hat. Did you make any money out the front? <laughs> <laughs> I actually like your three-stripe, Fitzy. I was just saying, yeah. maybe, you, did you... Did you did you put on a fresh T-shirt? Like, is there a pressure on the parents, do you oh, think? Was shorts. BJ all lovely? You know what? I don't... Uh, I, I, and this is what I love about it. There was a lot of tradie dads there, yeah. so they've come straight from work. Um, mm. Just to point out too, Fitz, I don't know if you know, yesterday you had a hat on that said, Kill Em All. Uh, yeah, Met- Metallica, Metallica, one of the greatest albums album. of all time. Yeah, Kill Em All. It's an album. Yeah, I know. Just, yeah. I'm not sure that's what you want going into a teacher chat. <laughs> Well, I, that's one at all. I wanted one of the brand values to be for this show, but that didn't get over the line. Um, <laughs> um, so, when you sit down, BJ and I said, "Okay, let's let it, he's Lenny. This is Lenny's interview. Okay, so we stay back." And there are moments that you do want to jump in, but you got to be very patient. So, oh, we were really impressed, really impressed with Lenny because there were two big words that he brought up in his interview. So, one of the questions was. What would your classmates say about you, Lenny, as a fellow student? Legend. And straight away, Katie came out and he said, you know what they would say about me? I have confidence. Wow. And I went, wow. He's got the confidence to actually pronounce confidence. I'd probably struggle there. (laughs) Don't ask me to spell it. Yeah, don't let... It wasn't a written exam, was it? No. The the other one was, if I spoke to your teacher, what would she say is the best way to teach Lenny? That's a great question. It is a great question. And he said, and I love this, he said straight away, he said, I like to be independent. He basically said, I know I can get into trouble by talking to my friends sometimes. So the best way for me to learn is to be independent and by myself. Wow. He's done a don't argue. Hasn't he? So they said, "All right, well, you're in a classroom by yourself, mate. No, <laughs> you've got none <laughs> of your no friends around." There's no space here because the 600 other kids going to be here. <laughs> the other one I wanted to bring up. This is the big one. He kept bringing up his brother because his brother goes to the school, and he kept saying, "They said, why do you want to come to this school, Lennox?" And he said, "I." Right, because my brother goes here and I think my brother would look after me. And I looked at BJ and I went, oh, I don't know about that one. The way your brother's treating you at home at the moment, I don't know if he'd be there for you in those moments, mate. But that that's love though, isn't it? Like, uh, to me, I love that he said that because he's looking up to his older brother and he's thinking, not only am I impressed to be able to say that Huey is my brother, right? My big brother is Huey Fitzgerald. He's also hoping there's a bit of support there if he was in trouble in the playground. Well, it sounds like he's delusional though, Fitzy, because you're saying there wouldn't be that level of he, support. Well, I didn't go to the same high school as my sister. To Holly, right? She went to a different high school. She didn't the go high to school, Warrianda High. No, the high school that I went to, Mum and Dad realised pretty quickly we're not sending our daughter there either. <laughs> we need one good, <laughs> one good one out of the two. They <laughs> sent her to a proper school. But I, I've been thinking about this all night. Is it a positive or a negative thing to have an older or younger sibling with you at high school? Was there a hero moment where an older brother or sister saved you? Or was was it the other way around where they just made your life hell? We always have that chat because there's been a moment where, say, Ted's fallen over or Jack's fallen over and smashed his face or something and the other one hasn't helped. They've just run off with their mates. And I went, guys, do you understand that Jack is an extension of you, Ted, and Ted, you're an extension of Jack. You yeah, guys are always together. concept. Always together. If one goes in, you both go in. If one goes down, you go to help. Well, so that's you, what I, brothership is about. What if you're on your own? Brothers though? unite! And I dream of those moments of one sibling getting bullied and the older one comes in and goes, Oi, that's my little sister or that's my brother, leave him alone. Does that actually happen at high school, 13, 20, 10? Has it happened to you? They talk about the power of brothers. Like two brothers is worth the power of four people. What are you going on about? Is that the saying, Jess? 
Never heard it. What is it? <laughs> Two brothers is worth the power of four people. Do they? Say, is that what they have on, like the little insignia or whatever at the school well, that, that your Tommy, sons go to? No, that Tommy was the other Google brand it, value that I brought to the team, mm. along with Kill 'Em All, but none of them got no, through. None of them managed to stick. Cassandra in Little Bay. What happened, Cassandra? Well, I was uh, uh, at the tuck shop, so there was a little store near the school that used to you used to order your lunch. And I had my lunch money in my paper bag that, you know, mum would prepare. And my sister had put her order in. She was in year six. I was in kindy. Yep. Yeah. And um, the school bully used to bully kids to take their lunch money. <sighs> and he came up behind me and says, give me your lunch money. And I said, not just froze. Yeah. And then someone said, hey, Ange, my sister's Angela. Um, George, it's his name, is that your sister? And she walked up to him and everyone yeah. was scared of him, terrified of him because he was yeah. physically physically mean and a menace and she looked at him and she poked him in the chest and she said leave her alone go pick oh. on someone your own size oh, yes. no. and he like backed down and she was a legend and legend. she's my best friend and she's awesome how okay. good is that, Cass? See you later, oh, George. Oh, that is awesome. Yeah, good story for there's that. A mo- um, there's a movie in that. Isn't there? Mim on the Central Coast, what do you reckon? Um, I actually had the opposite experience. Um, I was the bullied um, by my sister. Um, she went oh. through four high schools in the end, and the school wouldn't do anything about it because they just saw it as a domestic issue. Yeah. Um, yeah. But now I'm a teacher um, and I see kids all the time either sort of negatively, you know, tarnished yeah. um, with the brush and the name, you know, of their mm. older sibling mm. or the expectations their older sibling sets, you know, from an exceedingly high perspective yeah. um, is crippling. Are you so close I, yeah. with your sister now, Mim? Sorry, say again. Are you close with your sister now? No, no. So you're, what you're saying is that each child be, should be treated as an individual, whether yeah, that's good absolutely. or bad. Yeah, absolutely. Because every class I walked into, they would recognise the last name. Yeah. And I think they thought they were going to cop the same like, oh, sort no. of stuff my sister through. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. So it's yeah, me, I'm me, no, me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm all for siblings going to separate schools. Yeah. You do see siblings being lovely to each other. Yeah. Um, yeah. But more often than not, I think it's either negative for, yeah, crippling from high Inter- expectations. Wow. Interesting. Interesting. Let's go to Ness in Ride. What happened during high school, Ness? So, I have the similar experience. It's having an older sibling is completely underrated. Like, it's stupid. They're so dumb. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know what's going literally, on Literally, no older siblings ever. Because they take your limelight, they take your spotlight away from you. Yeah, you so know I, what? <laughs> I thought about this, Ness. I was thinking because they're there first and they're proving themselves first, it takes your spotlight away. Yeah, but it's a bit different as well because, you know, I was born and brought up in India. And in India, because he's a boy and I'm a girl, they're worshipped. So yeah. I basically got to play hockey. I was playing hockey. I played um, junior India and I played national. Yep. I was the first girl in the whole suburb to make it to nationals in seven years. Wow. And the newspaper guys came over to interview me. Yeah. And when they interviewed my mum, all she talked about is my brother. <laughs> and when I saw the article, I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, it was about me. Oh I my was God. the one. Yeah. That's not fair. Nationals. That is not fairness. And that word was worship, by the way. <laughs> worship. <laughs> Cass is oh lost it. God. She's she dominating is. in hockey. Oh. I'm the one with the kookaburra bat. Come and interview me. What are you <laughs> talking about my brother for? It's not fair. Sarah's in Petersham. What happened, Sarah? All right. It is absolutely a horrible idea to send kids to the same school. Okay? Oh. I mean, I actually ended up being in different schools because, so, all right, for example, one time there was this roll-up. And it was a real issue because my sister, like, she's my twin. She wasn't dividing it properly. Like, so we ended up up. in a punch-up over it. Oh, because, you know, oh, are you talking oh, about an Uncle Toby's roller? Like fresh fruit, <laughs> fruit <laughs> flat out. They've got a new what grape flavour. Have you seen about? that? One? So you had a fight with your sister over half a roll up, Sarah, and this this happened regularly at school. You always got into knuckles with your sister, did you? Well, more or less. But anyway, this time the principal and the deputy were right nearby. Someone went and got them, brought them over. Uh, we're still in full swing. Principal tries to break us up. My sister takes a swing at the de- at the principal. Oh. 
we both just stop. We're like, we look at each other. I bolt. I'm like, I'm not sticking around for this. No way. So then I leave her to deal with that. And I'm running home. Next minute I hear that, ah, oh, it's a problem. Oh. So yeah, like, without a roll-up either, yeah. and no roll-up. No roll-up. You know, in, in, in Sarah's sister's defence, it's oh. not easy to break a roll-up in half. No, it's not. It's not easy. Fair, it's a fair call. You, you know. get the scissors. But you, you have to you cut think, roll-up. You think cut mum would give a roll-up to each sister, wouldn't you? Well, that would solve well, the solution. Well, then there's another bigger issue. <laughs> starts, it all starts at home, guys. Oh, my God. Sits in Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, download the Nova Player via the App Store or Google Play. The Nova Player.